communication manual, and this is their icebreaker for our guests. An icebreaker is a four to six minute presentation, four to six minute speech, where they tell us a little bit about themselves, and we get to know a little bit more about this person, our new member, Mr. Russell Dennis. their soul's purpose, their inner core, in three words. It took me 50 years to get there, but I came up with one. It's to emulate infinite vibration. And what is vibration? Vibration is love. Vibration is all the good things in life. And that's what I'm here to emulate. My life's purpose is to emulate infinite vibration by creating ways to help people become better spiritually, emotionally, mentally. I'm a purpose-driven change agent. Mm -hmm. What I discovered in that 50 years that it took me to come up with my soul's purpose was that it's impossible to reach your full potential unless you ask yourself, why am I here? What am I here to accomplish? Who am I? What does a better world look like? And these are the types of deep questions that a lot of us don't spend time to ponder. And so <clears throat> the thing about living on purpose is that it's not always easy. Because at times I find that it's difficult to get myself to make commitments to myself that it's easy to make to other people. I grew up in Cleveland, Ohio as an orphan. And I uh, spent time in foster homes and group homes. And I had a really skewed sense of what my value was. I learned to, to measure my value by what other people thought. In other words, judging my insides by other people's outsides. It's a practice that I got into and carried on for quite a long time. Now, I've had a lot of challenges in my life. And those challenges, while at the time were, were difficult, have actually made me a better person. I didn't ask myself that question, why am I here, until I hit 49 years of age, when my doctor told me I had Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer stage three. Mm -hmm. And I looked over my life and I said, what, what, have, what have I got to show for 49 years? And what does it all mean? What was I here? Is this it? Well, I sat with a friend who helped me determine what my soul's purpose <coughs> is. And that was a very good thing for me. So everything that I've done since that point has been to move toward that and to grow. And it's not always easy because sometimes that requires me to do things that are a little bit difficult. If living on purpose was easy, everybody would be doing it. <laughs> So it's the key to, to a successful life is to understand what that purpose is, is to live on purpose. That's the key to a successful life. There are three things. Firstly, I'm connected to everybody. I always felt like I was alone, like I was a space alien, like something was wrong with me, and that I didn't connect with anybody. And that's just not true. Everybody on this planet is connected. We are all connected through a creative source, whatever you want to call it. Everybody has different names. I call mine God because it's short, and I'm a little lazy. <laughs> short, quick, easy. I never have any problems with the spelling. So I like that. So that's my creative intelligence, I call it God. But we're all connected at the source. So being in touch with who I am has helped me to catapult my career look at things that are important where family is concerned. So the second thing is that I have to live from the middle. I have to base everything I do on that purpose. Because if I try to start acting based on other things, it just it's, it won't work. I'm not authentic. So I have to live from that core. And, and, uh, and uh, the real path to success is through authenticity. I have to be authentic. I have to be real. The third thing I have to do is be the change that I want to see. 
You know, I was always a victim of circumstances in my head and my youth. I used substances and did all sorts of other things. And I would sit and look at my life and I could find all sorts of things that happened to me that caused me to be where I'm at. But I have to take responsibility. When you're on purpose, I take responsibility for my life. I have to be the change that I want to see. When I want things in my life to be different, I do things different. And that's what living on purpose is about. So the success key to living is to understand what that purpose is. It's to live on purpose. It's to live with who you are. And fear will try to beat you back because it's like, what if nobody likes that? The only person you have to live with 24-7 for your whole journey is the one you face in the mirror. So live on purpose, you know. And for me, living on purpose is to enlarge my spiritual life through work, self-sacrifice, and service to others. And that's being way on purpose for me. Thank you for being here.